Dr. Edmonds, let me begin with you. That number, nearly 92,000 and exponential growth week over week. How bad are things right now in the UK? They're pretty bad right now. Um, and we fear that they're going to get a lot worse very quickly indeed. So the epidemic is doubling about every two days or the epidemic of Omicron. We still have quite a few cases of Delta as well that we've been dealing with for months. And is that 92,000 figure, is that the, the true number as, as you estimated? So that's the recorded cases. Now, we don't record every every infection. Um, so we think we estimate we record about a third of all the infections that happen. So 92,000 times three is a, already a very big number. Uh, and also that reflects cases that were recorded, uh, you know, yesterday, um, but they were probably infected about a week ago because it takes about four or five days for you to come ill and get a test and that test to, re to be reported. So unfortunately, that means that if there were, and with the, with the epidemic doubling and then doubling and then doubling again in a week, you might expect those cases, to, uh, 90 something thousand cases, to really be about hundreds of thousands of infections that happened yesterday. So, Dr. Uni, in response to that, we were talking just yesterday about how here in Ontario, it's an undercount as well. Even with well, the national number, we had 10,000. To what degree is it similar? That's a you know three times undercount based on what's happening in the UK. And I'm wondering, based on that, how closely you think the Canadian numbers might be in, in a similar pattern? Yeah, I mean, what I can tell you is that uh, typically in Ontario, if things are quite okay and the surveillance works, we assume that we detect roughly 40% of the cases. But what we see now is that the surveillance system starts to struggle. And uh, I can't tell you right now where we are, but it's probably about the same what John was mentioning before, about the third. And this number could go down. You know, it's clear that uh, that people can't get their PCR tests anymore when they, when they should. And we have now brought into the mix rapid tests which will make things even just more cloudy we need to be aware of that that these numbers will be an undercount and will become more and more unreliable as case numbers are growing dr edmonds uh, i'd like to ask what you're seeing since you're further down the road than canada is the, the perception that omicron is a milder strain of this uh, of this virus what is your thinking on that and what are you seeing as far as severe illness and hospitalization we're seeing hospitalizations coming up now, uh, particularly in London, uh, which is ahead of the rest of the country, as it always seems to be with these sorts of things. Um, uh, in terms of whether it really is less severe, so it's two things you've got to think about. Is the virus itself intrinsically less severe than, say, Delta or one of the other viruses that we've been hit by? Um, and the, when you look at that, then the answer is there's no evidence to suggest that that is the case, actually. Is the, is it over, you know, overall, do you get a less severe picture? Yes, because most people are now being vaccinated. About half of our population are now being boosted as well, or adults at least have been boosted. And so, um, you know, so because of the effect of previous vaccination, then the overall picture is less severe. But that's because of the vaccine rather than there's no evidence that the virus is actually less severe than than. Delta. And, and Dr. Uni then, and jumping in on that, what does that indicate to you for Ontario's experience? Well, we just need to be aware of that. You know, what really is a threat to our healthcare system are those people who never experienced an infection and were never vaccinated. And again, remember, uh, we have right now, you know, here in Ontario, and that is the same pattern, you know, all over Canada, with the with the people out there who are not vaccinated yet, considering their age, etc. We would still face if they all get uh, infected very swiftly, um, roughly 10,000 ICU admissions, and this can go very rapidly. And that's the challenge at hand now these people pre before actually derived a lot of protection by vaccinated people but what we see now is you know protection against infection melts like snow under the sun now with omicron if we only have had two doses and therefore again it's extremely important just to make it to these three doses and to gain time with public health measures now and make sure that we st now sl start to slow this uh, this uh, explosive growth here okay. and that really means the in contacts. You were telling me, you've been telling me over the course of our conversations that you've had direct conversations with people like Dr. Edmonds and researchers from the US and I believe South Africa and the UK. You, you, they're available readily to you to share research and findings, correct? 
Oh, also from Israel, for example, you know, I remember, John, you know, when we were really looking into uh, the challenges with uh, transmission in children, we never met before. And uh, I wrote him an email and uh, and asked him whether he would be able to join the science table. And here he was next day presenting to us. You know, that's really that's this unprecedented nature of collaboration internationally that is so tremendously important and, and I'm so grateful for, you know, makes me tremendously optimistic for the future. So you can actually actually help form in real time Ontario's response based on the best international findings and research right at that time. And that, that was exactly going to be my question to you, Dr. Edmonds, to, to conclude that to an outsider watching this, it seems rather unusual. You use the word unprecedented, Dr. Uni. What is it about Omicron that has scientists around the world working so quickly together on this particular problem? Well, um, it's not just Omicron. We've been working together throughout this COVID pandemic. And, and it really has been fantastic, actually, to work with colleagues right around the world. Um, but uh, we do have to work very quickly together on Omicron because it spreads so fast. The speed at which it's spread around the world is absolutely unprecedented. And the speed at which it's spreading around through our communities is absolutely unprecedented. So we have to act very fast.